All of today's guests are here to make their demands clear. This woman wants an apology from her sister for trying to beat her up at her daughter's birthday party. She needs to tell her father if he doesn't give up drinking, then she doesn't want to see him ever again. And she says her sister turned her apartment into a disaster area and she'd better clean up the mess. Our guests have come here today not knowing if the person they're hoping to see will say, I forgive you or forget it. Welcome to Forgive or Forget. And now the host of Forgive or Forget, Mother Love. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Forgive or Forget. Let's hear why our first guest is here today. Erica, how dare you come in my house and disrespect me and attack me in front of all those guests and children that I had at my daughter's party, all because of a little scratch. I told you over the phone that Johnny was okay, there was nothing to worry about, you came and you blew it all out of proportion. Today I am demanding an apology from you. Come to the door right now and give me the apology that I deserve. Please welcome Charlene Farmer. Now your sister Erica is backstage to listen to what you have to say. Later on we'll find out if she is willing to apologize to you or not. So Charlene, did you and Erica ever fight before the birthday party? Yeah, we had a couple of run-ins and stuff, but it was nothing as bad as this one. I went to her house for my daughter's birthday and um, went to pick up some gifts that her and her godmother had for her. Her son asked me, could he go home with me? And I told him, yeah. So I took him with me. He was with me for six days before his mother came. Did you often take him with you? We used to take alternate weekends. I take her kids one weekend, she'd take mine. Okay. He stayed with me for um, about six days and I was giving my daughter a birthday party. We were on the phone and um, little Johnny walked in my kitchen and um, I seen a little scratch under his eye and I was asking him what happened. He said they were playing in the room and um, no, he said they were fighting. That's what he said. They were fighting. And um, do you know who he was fighting or playing with? Him and my son were playing. And how old is little Johnny? Eight years old. Okay. My son is eight also. Okay. And um, the little boy they were playing with was eight. They jumped the little boy. And the little boy was scratching, kicking, trying to get them off of him. And in the process, he nicked him under the eye. So I'm on the phone with his mother, and I'm, I'm telling her, well, Johnny got a little nick under his eye, but he it, little. It was real small. It wasn't nothing to get excited about. I'm telling her, um, you know, it's okay. Come on over. I'm cooking the macaroni and cheese, and I got the collard greens and the chicken ready. We on you know? the way out the door. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um... She come about 30 minutes later, and little Johnny greets his mother at the door. Before she could walk in the door, he ran out to the door to her, and he hugged her. She looks at his face. Oh, she explodes. Oh, no, he didn't. I should let my son punch him in his face. And she cursing, and the kids are standing there all scared. They don't even take off their coats. They so scared. Oh, she carried on. She cursing, cursing, cursing. The door opened. I just moved in this building like six months ago. She cursed, and I'm saying, calm down. It's, you know, he ain't have to get stitches or nothing. Calm. Oh, no, if it was your son, you... Oh, Peter, go f*** him up and go do this. And Wait, the other little boy? Yeah. Wait a minute, did you tell your sister? Well, look, little Johnny and my son had jumped on that little boy, and the little boy was defending himself? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, okay. They were playing, though. And okay, you, look, and little boys play. Okay. Look, with little kids, you don't panic till you see blood or bones sticking out or something. Right. So, um, she carrying on, she cursed, and I'm telling her, you know, calm down. Why are you taking it to this extreme? Oh, you must have not been watching my son then if this happened, because if it was your son, you wouldn't be reacting like this. I said, no, that ain't even true. You need to stop. So she kept on cursing, so I asked her to leave. So she's going to tell me, well, give me the car fare. While we was on the phone, she had asked me for car fare to go home. So I told her, I'll give it to her because she didn't have it. All right. She arguing and cursing. She still ain't took off her coat. She's saying, give me the car fare. I said, I'm not giving you nothing. You get home the best way you can. Wait a minute, she asked you for car fare? After, after she, she just came? cursed me out in front of about eight women and about 15 children is here. <gasps> And all the kids are just sitting there looking at her, going ballistic. They telling her, Ari, you know, you got the right to be mad, but don't, you know, you blowing it all out. Oh, ha. Ah. And this, then my boyfriend came out. He like, um, you know, don't argue with your sister. Him too. What, he wants some too? Oh, so why, why, you know what, go home. She swung at me. She just came, uh, she just swung at me and, um, 
I kind of moved back, but she kind of brushed me. My bang went flying over. <laughs> so my girlfriend was... She tagged you one time. Oh, yeah, she caught me. She caught me. My girlfriend was standing between us, and um, she, had, she hit her. She got a bruise, a big bruise on her neck. And it's like four women in between the two of us. Wait a minute, in front of the children. And mother love, all I had on was a, a skirt. I had the skirt to come here, I had it up here. Nothing else. I had to go run in my room, throw some shorts on, put some sneakers on, and came back, you know, ready to... And y'all getting ready to scrap you and your sister in front of the kids? In front of the kids. So do you want to have a relationship back with your sister, or do you just want her to apologize to you? I want her to apologize to me. She owes me an apology. This is not the first time this has happened. And I want her to apologize to me and grow up and be the woman that I know she can be. Yes, ma'am. Stand up with me. You have a question? Yes. I'd like to know, if you're fighting with each other, what do you expect your children to be doing but fighting? I can, I mean, and that's all we do. We argue. We make up. We argue. We, my mother passed away two years ago, and we was close growing up as kids, but as we got a little older, it's like we kind of drifted apart. But for the kids' sake, I'm trying to, you know, keep us close and together. Yes, ma'am. At some point, where was the adults to stop this drama? Because it seemed like it went a little further than it should have in front they of the kids. They are the adults. They it's are the adults. adults. But, it's, but I'm saying it was like eight more adults. So, I mean, at they some point, some did they enjoy the this? Of us, some of them is just sitting there because they know my sister with her attitude. I mean, and you, thank you. And you all just like went out. Yeah. Well, Charlene, Erica has heard all you've had to say. We need to take a little break. We'll find out if she'll apologize right after this. We'll be right back. Charlene says she never expected to battle it out with her sister at her daughter's birthday party. Will Erica still be on the attack? Find out next. Are you tired of paying cable and satellite companies just to watch your favorite broadcast network shows? Why spend hundreds of dollars a year for cable and satellite only channels when you can watch broadcast television for free with the Clear TV HD digital antenna? All you have to do is plug in Clear TV and let your television instantly receive top-rated network shows, local news and weather, sporting events, and more, all for free. That's right, free digital TV. Thanks to a federal government mandate, all broadcasters are required to transmit a digital TV signal through the airwaves. Clear TV lets you bypass cable and satellite to bring network shows directly to your television so you can enjoy crystal clear local and national free HD TV. Clear TV is amazing. If we're just off the coast here in the Gulf of Mexico receiving free network broadcast HD TV, imagine all the free HD TV shows you'll receive at home. Basic cable and satellite services can cost you up to $80 a month. That's $960 a year and almost $10,000 over a 10 year period. Why pay that much money for extra channels you may never even watch? But with Clear TV, there's no contracts, no monthly fees, and no unexpected rate increases. Just free HD TV that can look as good or better than cable and satellite. Call or go online now to get your Clear TV HD digital antenna for just $19.95. I took the antenna out of the box, plugged it into my TV, and in just a few minutes, I was watching free network broadcast HD TV. Clear TV's compact design is perfect for an apartment, ideal for a college dorm room, and lets you watch TV in as many rooms as you like without paying additional monthly fees. Order right now and we'll give you a second Clear TV antenna for free. Just pay separate processing and handling. That's two Clear TV HD digital antennas of $40 value, all for only $19.95. Not available in stores. Order now. I can't believe I get all these channels for free. And in HD, Clear TV is for real. Are you a skinny mini or a scrawny Sam? There are thousands of products designed to help you lose weight. But what if you need to gain weight? Then CB1 Weight Gainer is your answer. The all-natural weight gain solution. I look like uh, this. <laughs> I was very thin. It increases your appetite, so you naturally take in more calories, while it also calms and slows your metabolism. I was a skeptic about it, but I was like, you know what, I've tried everything else. Why not try this? I went from 160 to 187. I read a couple of the testimonials, and I said, you know, let me go ahead and try it. I went from 125 to 140. 
Call now and find out how you can buy one bottle of CB1 Weight Gainer and get another one free with a 30-day total satisfaction guarantee. Plus, we'll include our full 28-page weight gain guidebook that gives you all the tips and advice you need to gain weight fast. Order CB1 Weight Gainer now and gain the weight that'll make them say, wow. We're here with Charlene Farmer, who is waiting to find out if her sister Erica will apologize to her for trying to beat her up at her daughter's birthday party. She tapped her one time. Charlene, let's find out if Erica will give you an apology. Go take your place. All right, Charlene Farmer, let's open the door. Okay, I'm just like, we tripping over here. I don't know. Tell, tell me, say, come here, stand up with me. I mean, that's family. Nothing should come in the way of that. You know, it's family. You love each other, you should just let it go. That's why your kids are learning from that example. I did make the first step, you know? Well, see, I, these two over here, I thought I was going to have to pick you up off the floor. <laughs> and I agree with you. Let's find out about Erica. Erica! Yes? Why didn't you come through the door? Because I don't think I owe Charlene an apology. I think Charlene owes me an apology. She's not being honest of what happened, okay? Charlene wants to call me three days after the fact, after my son was kicked in his face. And it was not a little scar under my son's eye. He had a black and blue with a scrape under his eye. No, he didn't. And it was swollen. No, okay? He didn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't no little um, thing for me to be upset about. I was upset, yes, because my son was kicked in his face. You didn't take the measures that you should have took to find out what happened to my son. You should have went to the boy's mother. And if he was eight, he was a very big eight. Okay, and my son was a very little eight. Your kids could have never came to my house and had that scar on their face without me going to the parent of the child that did it to my child. You said your piece, let me say mine. Okay? Oh, if please. my son's face was not scarred, I wouldn't have had no, prob no problem with my son. You yourself told me you didn't care about your own, so why should you have cared about mine? And I told you don't worry about it because mine won't be coming to your house no more. He Since you wrong. don't care, no, if you want to come yeah. to the store, the show, come to the show with the truth. Don't come I did. to the show. No, you didn't. I did. You no, just you exaggerated. Didn't. Because otherwise, you I would not be mad. When it comes to my kids, yes, I will. I would die and go to wherever. You could do whatever you want to me, but don't mess with my children. And that's what I told you the day of your party. I did not come to destroy your daughter's party because if you would have told me the day that it happened to my son. If I would have known the day that it oh, happened, so that I would have told you. that means you wasn't watching him then. I was at work. You knew I worked every oh, day. Please, that was the Friday. weekend. I worked. That was the weekend. I, it didn't happen on the weekend. The party was that Saturday. He was with that me from was that the Monday. Weekend. So when you came in from work, you did not see no, my son? No, there was no scar there. I'm saying there was over no the two scar. days, the car, the there scar was a big scar um, under yeah, my son's there, there was no big scar. There was okay, a big well, let me scar. Ask, let me, there was no big Erica, scar. Erica, okay, absolutely let me, lying. Let me ask you this, Erica. Like, hmm. how big was the scar up under your son's his, eye? His scar was from here to here, and it was swollen. Uh-huh. And it was black and blue with a scrape underneath it. Did you did so you check him to the? So she's willing to tell the truth, then we could get the truth out. Okay. Did you check him? I Let me ask have you a this. Problem with Charlene. Did you take him to the emergency room? No, I treated Thank him you. myself. So evidently it wasn't that bad. If it was as bad as it she was said it was, would you have not taken your child Why didn't to the you hospital? Take him? Cause I didn't see him until I was talking kid. to you on the phone that Saturday. He was in, You only called me 20 minutes before I got there. That's what I'm saying. And the only reason why you called me is because they told you how you know how your sister is. So call. Her and tell her. No, me and you was already Please. on the phone when me I and you seen the scar. Talking every day before then. Me and you was on the phone when I okay. seen the scar. Wait, 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 wait. Every day. Stop, stop, we talk stop. Every day. Stop. Erica. Let me ask you this question because you seem so angry about this. You right. Okay, your son is eight years old. Yes. You have. N I got my son. I got a seven-year-old and a twenty-one-year-old. Both of them got battle scars from out there playing around, roughhousing, getting kicked and smashed. Believe Charlene's story. And, and, no, I'm asking. No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Do you, as a mother, realize that little boys get rough with one another and they bruise one another sometimes? 
That's all I'm asking. I have five, so yes, I do. Oh, okay, so that. okay, and then you you understand that sometimes I'm just trying to find out if you understand, you know, where your head is, and you understand sometimes even when your own sons are tussling with one another, you know, they bruise and bang each other up because for whatever reason they think they rag dolls or whatever, and sometimes children, it, you know, they have accidents. What I'm asking was what happened to your son? Such a big deal that it's enough for you to cut your sister off and yes. cut your children off from your nieces and nephews. Yes. She, you see how ignorant yes, she is? Yes, because you know why it's such a big deal? Because Charlene came to the show not telling y'all what happened. Charlene's telling the story she wants to tell. Charlene's not telling y'all that she started it. Charlene's not telling y'all she's the cause of me punching her in her face. Oh, you didn't punch me yeah, in my I did. face. Yeah, I did. No, you punched Lynette. No, I punched you. No, you're absolutely lying. I tagged lying. your face you, you, and you, choked you Lynette. You need help. You need no, some psychiatric okay. help. help. You need help. Wait, 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 wait. You're a liar. Okay, well, let me ask you this, you're Erica. You're a liar, Charlene. Okay, if she's lying yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and she's saying, and you're saying now, she started the fight. Did you ask her for car fare? Before you came did over, did I ask her for coffee? Uh, sure, I did. Okay, and then after you came in, she wanted in, me over there, so why she couldn't pay for me to go home? I didn't want you over there. It was your call your party. Uh, I wanted the me, kids you there. You wanted me over there. I wanted the kids there. You wanted me over there, or else I wouldn't have came, Charlene. Well, I tell you, and you wouldn't have came to your niece. Told wait a minute, me, Erica, Erica, didn't care Erica nothing wait a minute, about my child. You wouldn't have went to your niece's party if if your sister hadn't gave you cash. Not if I'd have known my son's face was scarred up. No, I wouldn't have, because I know me. Wait, so me, you know what? Wait, 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 stop. You know what? I got to say this. I have to say stupid. this because I am... Your mama. Stop. Uh-uh. I'm not going to have that. Because you two are sisters. I don't care what the deal is. When you leave this show, you're going to still be sisters. Y'all got eight kids. You, wait a minute. Now, you got five kids, Erica. Yes, and how many do you have? Three. Y'all got eight children between y'all. Hey, you're supposed to set the example, so that it's all right if something jump off and you just tell your son, "We'll just well, go her beat son him up." Disrespected me that day too, so she didn't check her son for disrespecting me. You disrespect his house. How I disrespect his you, house? His you mother came told in there me. Yelling his and screaming. mother told me he, she was gonna make my eye just like my son eye. That's why I try to tag your eye like his. Well, you should oh. try to succeed. You know what? Baby, you I know what? I'm gonna tell you Trust something. Me. You know what? You two, like I said, the two of you are sisters. To me, I mean, you know, things happen. I trust my sisters with my kids. I wouldn't take them over there if I didn't. And if you don't trust your sister, you know, I think that's like a serious problem. Evidently, you know, but you cutting well, off, you cutting off your, trust, you huh? cutting off your kids, you cutting off yourself. You cutting she off yourself, it. and you, you gotta really right. think Baby, about I've what you. Been cut off for years. I've been cut off for years. So it's not like it's just now started. That's right. I mean, I just hate it for the kids' sake because my children do love my my nieces and nephews. Okay, and my let me let me love okay sister, stop, 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 stop. Let me ask you this. Let me just ask you this, and then that's com that's gonna be it for me because this is just really driving me crazy. When sisters cannot get along and find a common ground, you got kids that are looking up to you. Mm -hmm. Didn't you say? Didn't I hear you say your mother passed away? Mm -hmm. Your mother is gone. What do you think, Erica, your mother would think of the two of you arguing like this about your kids in front of your kids? What would she, she think? Probably, she probably wouldn't like it, none at all. But if your child had a scar under his eye, you answer me, how would you feel? Girl, look, my child's oh. eye been blacked in a fight. My child been knocked down. But been you're not dragged. listening to the truth. You don't know you what know, happened. But, you, but I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. Yeah, Everybody listen. How was the no, scar no, on I'm my not, son's no, face? No, this is about you and she. Hmm. I'm going to listen to the two of you. I'm punching you, your face again. Okay, well, see, you know what? That's really a bad she's attitude ignorant. to she's have. That's really a bad attitude. She's ignorant. You are. You know? Because you're Erica, a liar, Erica. Erica. You's a liar. You see the mentality, Erica, of a young Erica. black mother with five kids. And she Look at the mentality change. of a fat black one with okay, three. Okay, you know what? It's all good. Oh. You just, you, you just know what? If, if, of wait, me. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Wait a minute. <laughs> if that, if you got to get that petty with your sister, yeah, right. Okay, right, okay. Whatever. You know what? The conversation is over. Thank you for sharing your story with right. us. We'll be right back. How could two dogs push these two sisters apart? Find out what's gotten these sisters growling with anger next.
on the next all new episode of My Crazy Roommate. Go on down to the Ethiopian spot, get me some African funk and Egyptian love so I can set the mood here. Do you want some ganja as well? Sisters are doing it for themselves until mom shows up. She is pretty high maintenance. More high maintenance than you. You're not one of our regulars, are you? You can say that again. You're not one of our regulars, are you? <laughs> My Crazy Roommate, Monday, 10 Eastern, 9 Central, on the New Bounce TV Hour Way. The voice communicates desire. It's what makes talking so much more exciting than typing. Call Live Links now. Make a real connection. Open up real possibilities. Because there are more local singles waiting to talk to you live on Live Links now. I want to hear your voice. Call Live Links now. I'm ready to feel sexy and great. HydroxyCut, America's number one weight loss brand, helps you lose weight your way. New sprinkles, drink mix, caplets, or new great tasting gummies. I'm Sierra from Santa Barbara, and I've lost 42 pounds. I feel beautiful. HydroxyCut really works. The voice communicates desire. It's what makes talking so much more exciting than typing. Call Live Links now. Make a real connection. Open up real possibilities. Because there are more local singles waiting to talk to you live on Live Links now. I want to hear your voice. Call Live Links now. Jim is 38, mortgage, married, three great kids. He wants to protect his family with a $500,000 term life insurance policy. What do you think it'll cost him? $100 a month? $60? $40? Actually, none of the above. Jim can get a $500,000 policy from a highly rated insurer for under $19 a month. His secret? Select Quote. Select Quote is impartial. They'll comparison shop the pick of insurance companies like these to give you a choice of your best prices. Select Quote has great savings on term life for women, too. Jim's wife, Deidre, can get a $500,000 policy for under $16 a month. Select Quote has helped make term life insurance affordable for hundreds of thousands of people since 1985. How about you? Just call this number or go to SelectQuote.com. Select Quote. We shop. You save. Welcome back. February is Black History Month. It's time to remember how lucky we are to live among a nation of people who come from all different colors and all shapes and sizes. One of our viewers, Sierra Russell from Gilbert, Arizona, pointed this out to me recently. I want to share with you her email she sent after a recent show. Mother Love unwittingly used the phrase, Indian giver. I am a Yavapai Apache Indian. I've grown up hearing the phrase and it hurts because it's referring to my heritage, my people in a way that is demeaning. I'm sure Mother Love was just repeating something she'd heard all of her life and I did. I hope it is, I hope, my hope is that she will read this note and choose other words to make her point. Sierra is absolutely right. I did unwittingly say that phrase and I want to apologize to her and to all of you. You know what's in my heart and I would never say anything to offend anyone. I love each and every one of you just as you are. There are too many words and phrases that all of us may be guilty of using even without thinking about it and we can end up hurting someone. Please accept my apology, Sierra, and to all of the Yavapai Apache Indians and anybody else that I might have offended. Like Sierra, it is my sincere hope that all of us make an effort to respect each other, to choose other words to make our point. I want to thank all of you and thank all of our guests and thank you for joining us. I am Mother Love and remember, I love each and every one of you and never underestimate the power of forgiveness.
today's show. If my 13-year-old son doesn't shape up, I'm kicking him out of my house for good. Our friend owes both of us rent money and a big apology for being a freeloader. My boyfriend slept with my best friend while I was pregnant with our baby. Our guests have come here today not knowing if the person they're hoping to see will say, I forgive you, or forget it. Welcome to Forgive or Forget. And now the host of Forgive or Forget, Mother Love. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Forgive or Forget. Let's take a look at the monitor and our first guest message. DJ, you're 13 years old and you're on the road to nowhere. You've been caught stealing from my wallet. You got caught smoking in my house on Christmas Day. You've been suspended five times for fighting. One time you were with some kids that got caught shoplifting while I was driving around town for four hours looking for you, not knowing where you were at. You got suspended from school for bringing a laxative to school, giving it to other kids, and they gave it to the teachers. You do not do anything around the house. You disrespect me and don't abide by my rules, and I have had enough. If you do not straighten up, period, you're going to have to find somewhere else to live because I had enough. Well, let's bring out Charlotte Wunsch. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Mother Love. Well, your son DJ is backstage listening to your demands. We'll hear from him a little later. Charlotte, just how bad is he getting? What is he, how, why is he behaving like this? Uh, let me tell you, Mother Love has gotten really out of control. He has stolen money from my wallet, and when he ain't got a lot of money, and he, every little penny counts. He gets suspended from school for fighting five times, one time for bringing a laxative to school and giving it to kids, and they in turn gave it to teachers. He um, got caught smoking Christmas night in my house at 2 o'clock in the morning with one of his friends. He doesn't do a thing. He doesn't clean his room. He doesn't t take out the trash. I do everything to give this kid everything that he wants, and he totally just doesn't want to do anything that we want him to do. And what does he say? Uh, because I know you have to talk to him about this. Yeah, I talk till I'm blue in the face. And what does he say? He just tells me, you're not going to do anything. You can't make me go anywhere else. Ooh. You can't make me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and do you have other children, Charlotte? Yes, I have a six-year-old little girl. And she's, and how is he with her? Sometimes he's really good. Other times he hates her and he calls her names like he calls me. He, wait, wait, wait. He, he's calling you. What kind of names is he calling you? Oh, he calls me the B word. <laughs> Tells me that I'm fat. He's told me before that he wished that I was dead. <laughs> and then... Even in all of his 13 year, in all of your 13 year old madness, boy, who do you think would, shut up, mother love, shut up, just <laughs> calm down, just calm down. Sh who does he think will take care of him and tolerate this from him? I don't know. Who does Things he think? That, that my dad will, but my dad won't. D does he understand that that's your father yeah. first? And his concern will be his daughter? Yes. And he just doesn't want to do anything, you know, and he's 13, you know, and they get at that age and they get to smelling themselves and thinking they can just run around. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know how they get ridiculous and get stuck on stupid after they get to, well, I'm not a child, I'm a yep. teenager. Yep. And, and they don't want to take the responsibility that comes with being yep. a teenager. And so what else is going on in your household that, that you are just fed up with him? I'm having to act like his slave. You know, I have to pick up his clothes. If he has dirty clothes, he'll just keep wearing them. They won't, they won't get picked up and taken to the laundry unless I take them. What? And it, so well, let me think, can I just give you a little mother love tidbit of suggestion? Yeah. First of all, he, not only would he be out there, he would be nasty because I wouldn't wash his clothes. That would be the first thing. I thought about that. Well, before today's show, we spoke to DJ about what's been going on with his mom. Here's what he had to say. My mom makes me think I'm the worst kid in the world, and really I'm just myself, I'm just a kid. She accuses me of stealing money from her, when I think that's my money, because it comes from my child support. If it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have it. Mom um, accuses me of swearing too much, and I get all my swear words from her. I think she needs to live with the fact that I don't care whether I'm a good kid or a bad kid. The point is that I'm a kid. All kids act like I do. I think 
If she hates me, then she must hate herself because I'm a part of her. You do not hate your son. No. In fact, I love him very much. I had him when I was 17, and I was very, very sick when I was pregnant to the point that I almost died, but I chose not to have an abortion because it was my baby and I loved him, and I do everything I can to give him what he wants. And what, what makes him think that when you collect child support from his father, that's his money, since it's how you're taking care of him? He they, just thinks that, you know, it came from his dad, so it's his, and then I don't need it to help take care of him. So where, where you get money from? You just pulling it out the back of your neck to keep I the guess. rent paid and buy food and keep him in clothes that he want to keep strolled all over the floor? Yep. So now in his room, does he have TV? Yeah. Nintendo. Oh yeah. All them little games VCR, and everything. Stereo. Waterbed. Waterbed. What? <laughs> I, I tell you what. But, uh, I go. I go without a lot of things so that my kids can have things. You know, as parents, that's what we do, Charlotte. We're willing to make sacrifices. But I don't understand. See, I'm gonna tell you something. I I stand true to what I say. One of the things that we've done with these children and this new generation, we have given given them too yep. much. They got way too much. Oh, but... Is his father part of his life? No, he's not. He um, didn't meet his real dad again until he was 10, and then he knew his dad for about a year, and his dad left again. You, that's got to be kind of tough on a young boy, too. Yeah. Have, but have you remarried? Is there yes. a man in his, in his I, life? My husband has been in his life since he was six years old. And that's really the only dad he knows. And how do they get along? Sometimes good, sometimes not so good. <laughs> yes. Now, what have you done to try and discipline him? I have tried taking away his Nintendo, grounding him to the house, no phone, no nothing. And he'll get to the point where he gets so mad and he'll just leave. And go where? His friends, hanging out, whatever, he don't care. You know, and do the, and what do you, what do you have to say for yourself, son? Personally, uh, I think my mom needs to go with the fact that I really don't care what, whether she likes it or not. I'll act the way I want to act. And do you honestly feel like you having such a negative, funky attitude is a, is a good way, a good environment to be in? And if you feel, um, do you really think that's okay? Sometimes yes and sometimes no. Okay, well talk to me about the sometimes no when you don't think it's okay to have such a funky negative attitude. Um, well for one, when you're with all your family members, you know, busy doing something, you need to keep your cool or whatnot, but when you're by yourself or with your friends, you need to do what you feel is right, do what you want. Oh, do what you want? <laughs> You, you think you can do what you want? Well, I mean, you're only 13 years old. Do you honestly think, I mean, think about what I'm getting ready to ask you. Do you honestly think if your mother put her foot down and had the authorities come and remove you from her home because you are so disruptive and destructive in her family that your friends would take you in and their parents would raise you? I got a couple of them. Oh. You know, son, I think you went for a rude awakening because do you honestly think that somebody will tolerate a problem coming into their house? I don't think so. I bet you if that happened, I bet you your friends would tell you, DJ, I don't know where you're living, baby, but you can't be here. <laughs> Charlotte. He is nice sometimes. Are you afraid for his future? Are you afraid for him? Yeah, and I want him to do better than what I did, you know, drop out of school. And, and I want him, to, I, he has so much potential. He loves to wrestle and play football. And if he tries, I know he can do it. And I'm afraid if he doesn't do something now, he's going to not have a future. You, you think, you, you're shaking your head, DJ. You think that if you don't try, that the future's going to come to your door and stand there and say, DJ, hey, here's your life? No, I know I gotta try, but I know what I have to do to do the things that I want when I grow older. What, I know what, I what do you have to do, son? What do you think you have to do to do the things that you want to do? I have to uh, keep in shape so I can play football. Uh huh. Because I'm planning on getting a scholarship for that. Okay, and to get a scholarship, you need a scholarship to go where? I want to go to uh, Michigan to play football. But so, you, so you have dreams of going to college. 
That takes yeah. an education. That means that you can't get suspended five times in school for fighting. You have to get to college. You have to get to high school, baby. You have to graduate from high school. Michigan don't take no slackers, baby. <laughs> Because Charlotte, stuff. turn around and tell your son why you brought him here today. DJ, I brought you here to tell you that if you don't straighten up and abide by my rules, that you're going to have to find another place to live because I cannot take it anymore. Whoa. DJ, you've heard your mom tell us what she, that she wants you to obey her rules or find yourself a new address. We'll find it if you'll agree to her demands and walk through that door when we come back. We'll be right back. Charlotte's demanding DJ tame his wild ways. Will he decide to live with his mom's rules or live somewhere else? Find out next. The service was very moving, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I'm so glad we could be here for Larry. At a time like this, friends and family matter most. Even preparing this lunch is a help, emotionally and financially. Mm, it's true. I was surprised to hear there was no life insurance. Funerals are so expensive. I hope Larry can afford it. I know. That's why I'm glad I got a policy through the Colonial Pen Program. It gives me peace of mind to know I can help my family with some of those expenses. You know, I've been shopping for life insurance. Do you think they have coverage for me? Something that would fit into my budget? Yes. You can get permanent coverage for less than 35 cents a day. If you're between 50 and 85, your acceptance is guaranteed. You won't have to take a physical or answer any health questions. Oh, really? Well, with my health, I didn't think I'd qualify. You can't be turned down because of your health. Plus, your cost will never go up and your coverage will never go down. Okay, I'm convinced. I'm going to give them a call. Are you between the ages of 50 and 85? Did you think that quality insurance at an affordable rate is out of your reach? If you answered yes to these questions, then you should call about the Colonial Pen Program now. For less than 35 cents a day, you can get affordable life insurance with guaranteed acceptance. There are no health questions or medical exam. You cannot be turned down because of your health. So whether you're getting new insurance or supplementing coverage you already have, join the six million people who have called about the Colonial Pen Program. Ask one of their representatives about a plan that meets your needs. They're waiting to hear from you, so call now. I put this off long enough. I'm definitely going to call about the Colonial Pen Program. Call 1-800-508-8670 for your free information and a free gift. Or visit cpdirect.com. Call now. When you open up an Audible audiobook, it opens up your imagination. Enjoy a steamy romance while ironing the sheets. Discover an historic battle while battling the bulge at the gym. Visit audible.com slash freebook now to try one absolutely free. Get caught up in a whodunit during a do-it-yourself project. Listen anytime, anywhere with the Audible mobile app. When you're out for a walk, learn how to climb the corporate ladder. Or bring a little magic to your minivan with a fantasy novel. With over 100,000 titles, Audible is an amazing experience that you can now try absolutely free. And just like our books, there's no binding. Our Great Listen Guarantee lets you exchange a title you don't like for another. No questions asked. Visit audible.com slash free book to download a book of your choice right now. We're talking with Charlotte Wunsch. Charlotte has had it with her son's out of control behavior. She says this is his last chance. If he isn't ready to straighten up his act when she wants him, then she wants him out of her house. Charlotte, walk up to the door so you can find out if DJ's willing to change. All right, Charlotte Wunsch, let's open that door.
see, 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 that's the kind of move you make when you know that there's hope for your child. I'm sitting back here watching you, son, and I see what's, what, what's breaking your heart to make you just act like that. You are not a bad kid. Well, mom talks to me about cussing and smoking or mama. Talk, talk to her. Tell her. You know, you cuss a lot around the house, too, and that's why I think I got four. You don't want me to cuss and you don't want me to smoke. Well, maybe uh, you should try to quit smoking and quit cussing in the house. And you should do what I do. Tell him what you want from him, Charlotte. I want you to help around the house and mind the, mind the rules because they're there for your protection and your safety. I don't like having to drive around for hours not knowing where you're at if you got kidnapped or killed. Or, and I want you to help do things and make something of your life. I plan on it. I plan on making something of my life. Because I'm going to make you proud. You watch. Don't oh. just Okay, wait, DJ, now take back that comment you made because you did not even believe that I'm not buying it. Right. You made a comment. You said, I don't care if I'm a good kid or a bad kid, and I don't believe that, son. You do care. You cannot sit there and say you don't care. I watched a 13-year-old boy transform in front of me, go from being angry to something in your head clicked and said, maybe I'm not such a bad guy. Maybe I am okay. Maybe my mama really does love me. And what about your baby sister? You know, baby well, sisters look up to their big brothers. Yeah. And, uh, Let me ask you this, because he, I asked you before about his father, and you said you didn't get to meet, he didn't get to meet his father until he was 10. Mm -hmm. you, did you think, son, that might have something to do with it? Because it's got a lot to do with it. Like, t talk to me about that part, because that's got to be hard. My dad, he was never there for me, so I don't got the experiences my sister has. She's got a dad at home she can do stuff with. I, I think if I had a dad ever since I was a kid, I'd probably be home more, because... See, I've grown up without a dad, so most time I was at my friends when I'm little too, because I didn't have dad. And the only things that I do is to play with my friends. So now I'm growing up and I'm used to playing with my best friend Brian. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I've never been, you know, like that kind of person who sticks with the family or stays with the family most of the time of the day because of, I've never had a dad to stay with family with. But well, can I tell you thing. this though? So. Yeah, I love, I love my stepdad, too. I was just he going to ask, dad. because he's there with you. If something goes on in the middle of the night, I'll bet you if Charlotte said, look, the, look, something is wrong with DJ, he would probably pick you up and carry you to the emergency room. See, These are the big... Yeah. It takes I'm more... It takes C. Yep. It takes more than a C to, make, to be a father. That's I'd do all anything for my mom and dad, Harry. And I think they would do anything for you, son. I know. I'm going to tell you about a family. You said you wanted to play football for Michigan, no less. That's an organized team sport. The best place you can learn how to play on a team is to play well inside your own family. Be a team player with your family, son. Oh, Charlotte, you think he woke up? I hope so. You woke up, DJ? Are you awake now? You understand what's going on? You gonna be a better kid? Yeah, I love my mom. I'll, if I have to buy by rules and... If you have to? You don't no, pay no, rent, no, son. I you don't pay rent. <laughs> you have to, baby. <laughs> she Just wants me to clean my room. I'll clean my room. I'll clean her room. As long as I stay at home. I'll do anything for her. Thank you for sharing your story with us. We'll be right back. Her boyfriend not only had sex with another woman while she was pregnant with their baby, but the one he cheated with was her best friend. Bouncers, back in the day our family played bid whisk, tonk, and spades. We had game night every week. Double dutch, hopscotch, roller skates. Kickball, streetball, skateboard. Running to see the candy lady. Or chasing down the ice cream man. And playing outside until the lights came on. I'm Judy. I'm Vince. And I. And I am a bouncer. Bounce. TV our way.
The General is not your grandma's car insurance company. Check us out. At The General, you can get affordable car insurance online or over the phone in just minutes, regardless of your driving. The three of you realize what's going on and grow up and move on with your friendship. And don't let something like this destroy it. Everybody make mistakes. Learn from your mistakes, gentlemen. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Bad classics. He's a stranger in his hometown. How long were you staying in town? I was just passing through. His life shrouded in mystery. You said you understood. His objective is unknown. I've seen death and starvation and cruelty. His conclusion affects all. Man isn't just an animal. He is capable of love. That might not be enough. Sidney Poitier, Brother John. Today, 3 Eastern, 2 Central. On the New Bounce TV. Our way. Of all the places in your house, this one's the busiest. So you want it to be the cleanest. That's why you need Lysol. Because when you use bleach, some stains are left behind, as this dye reveals. Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner does more. It removes the tough stains, but bleach doesn't, and it also disinfects. So why just bleach? With Lysol, you can do more. That's helping. And for a clean and fresh toilet with every flush, try Lysol No Mess Automatic Cleaner. Ugh, I really wish I could change my due date. What? Before my car insurance payment? <laughs> my rent and my credit card bills are all due at the same time. You should move your car insurance over to the General. They have low monthly payments and you can choose your due date. For the car insurance, that is. <laughs> and the General's customer satisfaction rating is 97%. Affordable car insurance from the General. Get a free quote right now and choose your own due date. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the General and save some time. Are you a skinny mini or a scrawny Sam? There are thousands of products designed to help you lose weight. But what if you need to gain weight? Then CB1 Weight Gainer is your answer. The all-natural weight gain solution. I look like uh, this. <laughs> I was very thin. It increases your appetite, so you naturally take in more calories, while it also calms and slows your metabolism. I was a skeptic about it, but I was like, you know what, I've tried everything else. Why not try this? I went from 160 to 187. I read a couple of the testimonials, and I said, you know, let me go ahead and try it. I went from 125 to 140. Call now and find out how you can buy one bottle of CB1 Weight Gainer and get another one free with a 30-day total satisfaction guarantee. Plus, we'll include our full 28-page weight gain guidebook that gives you all the tips and advice you need to gain weight fast. Order CB1 Weight Gainer now and gain the weight that'll make them say, wow. never know what's gonna happen. What will happen the next time? You'll never forgive yourself if you don't watch and find out. Thank you to all of our guests and thank you for joining us today. I'm Mother Love and remember, never underestimate the power of forgiveness. Woo!